in the world of entertainment, few have made as big of an impression as Barbara Rush. Her roles in various movies and shows have left a lasting memory for many. One particular performance often comes to mind, where she showcased her incredible talent. Additionally, her earlier works, especially a memorable role, are fondly remembered by fans. If you have any stories or memories of Barbara Rush's performances, feel free to share them below. Get ready to discover more about this amazing actress as we uncover some interesting facts. In the realm of classic cinema, a figure emerged whose influence stretched far beyond the silver screen. This individual, known for their captivating performances and ability to seamlessly navigate through different roles, left an unmistakable imprint on Hollywood and its storytelling. Their talent not only entertained audiences, but also set a standard for aspiring actors and actresses, shaping the dynamics of the industry itself. Even today, their legacy continues to inspire generations of performers, making them a pivotal figure in the history of film. In the early 1950s, she signed a contract with Paramount Pictures and quickly became part of their prestigious group of new talents. Her talent caught the attention of many, including famous hairdresser Warren Beatty, who proudly styled her hair in the movie Shampoo. This showed how much she was becoming known in the industry. One of her memorable roles was as Marsha Russell in Peyton Place. Taking on this role was a big risk, but she jumped in with determination, not knowing exactly what to expect. This showed her bravery and commitment to her work. Throughout her acting career, she made a lasting impression on audiences with her ability to play a variety of roles convincingly. Each character she portrayed felt real and alive because of her skill in bringing out their complexities. Looking back, her impact on the movie world remains significant. Barbara Rush's influence goes beyond just her performances. It's a part of the history of cinema that continues to inspire future actors and filmmakers. And so, her story lives on as a tale of talent, perseverance, and love for storytelling. In one interesting case, an actress convincingly played a character who had a deep history with her co-star, an actor cast as the town sheriff. Despite the age gap shown on screen, it's worth noting that she, the actress, was actually older than her co-star in real life. This added an extra layer of depth to their on-screen chemistry, making their roles feel more genuine. In another memorable film from the late 1950s, she acted alongside her former husband. This time, they played a married couple, but not with each other. The performances they gave showed how well she could handle complicated relationships on screen. However, in 1972, she faced a tough challenge when she got hurt in a skiing accident, breaking her leg. This slowed her down for almost two months as she had to use crutches. But she showed her strength in dealing with personal problems. This incident not only highlighted her dedication to acting, but also showed how she could overcome physical obstacles with grace. These interesting stories give us a good look at her varied career, filled with different roles on screen relationships and personal victories. Her ability to switch between characters and handle both her professional and personal life shows what a great actress she was. In the late 1960s, Barbara Rush faced tough times after separating from her second husband, Warren Callan. Sadly, she also received the heartbreaking news of her first husband, Jeffrey Hunter's sudden death. He had a tragic accident, falling downstairs and getting fatally injured. As she dealt with this loss, Barbara, known as Marsha Russell in Peyton Place, found comfort in her work. She took on the role because the studio was close to her home and had a manageable shooting schedule, which allowed her to balance her roles as a wife and mother. It was a role that not only showed her talent, but also gave her stability during a tough time. It's interesting to note that she's related to actress Carolyn Hennessy, adding another connection in the entertainment industry. Barbara Rush's story shows how she stayed strong and determined in hard times, leaving a memorable legacy in Hollywood history. Graduating from the University of California, Santa Barbara, in 1948, she laid the groundwork for her career. Known for her role as Marsha Russell in Peyton Place, Barbara Rush expressed genuine enthusiasm for the show, labeling it an actor's paradise. She appreciated the flexibility, allowing her to infuse elements of her own personality into the character. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Barbara Rush is a long-standing client of Carrie White's hair salon, showcasing her loyalty over time. Her unassuming presence and everyday life contrasts with her on-screen portrayals, reflecting a grounded connection to routine. This enduring link with a local salon mirrors her commitment beyond the glamour of showbiz. Barbara Rush isn't just a talented actress. She's also the mother of Christopher Hunter and Claudia Cowan, who happens to be a journalist for Fox News. What's interesting is that Claudia Cowan, like her mother, 
has a unique connection to the TV series The Outer Limits. In 1964, Barbara played Leonora Edmond, and in 1998, she returned as Barbara Matheson in the show's revival. This makes her one of only five actors to be part of both the original 1963 version and the 1995 revival. It's quite a feat, showcasing her adaptability and talent in the entertainment industry. Barbara's dual appearances in The Outer Limits truly highlight her versatility, making her a respected figure in TV and film. All this information comes from the fascinating world of Barbara Rush, an actress with a special place in the history of The Outer Limits. In the realm of classic TV shows and movies, there are some actors who stand out for their memorable performances. One such actor, who played a special villain in the Batman series, is still alive today along with four others from the same show. Besides her role as a villain, she's been in other famous movies like Homber and The Young Philadelphians. Starting out at a drama school in California, she entered the entertainment world and gained fame for her acting skills. Throughout her career, she's impressed audiences with her diverse roles and strong presence on screen. Not just an actress, she's also been involved in charity work, using her fame for good causes. Her impact goes beyond her acting talent. She's a symbol of resilience and creativity in an industry known for its challenges. Looking back on her career, it's clear she's made a lasting impression on Hollywood and beyond. Her story is a reminder of the importance of storytelling and the influence of a gifted performer. In Peyton Place, she played Marsha Russell. During a break in the summer of 1968, she said no to roles in two movies so she could focus on personal projects and spend time with her family. In Homber, she played Audra Favor really well, showing how good she was at acting different roles. The movie added some characters like Doris Blake, who was Billy Lee Blake's wife, played by Peter Laser. Another new character was Jesse Brown, played by Dean Salento, who made the story even more interesting. In Robin and the Seven Hoods, she played Marion with a lot of grace and charm, and people remembered her performance for a long time. It's interesting to note that she lived longer than all her main male co-stars, which shows how much people still appreciate her work in entertainment. Throughout her career, she made choices that really affected how her career went, making her someone people really respect and like in the entertainment world. In 1968, when two actresses left the popular show, there were rumors about one of them making a comeback. However, another actress eventually got the role. During the same time, people were talking about the show possibly ending. Despite fans expressing their disappointment, the network didn't seem to care much about their protests. Interestingly, one of the actresses had a role in a sci-fi movie where a future TV star provided narration. This movie had a few actors in common with another sci-fi film from the previous year. It's fascinating how careers in the entertainment industry can intertwine like that. Nestled in the luxurious Harold Lloyd estate in Beverly Hills, Cat, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, enjoyed a remarkable career. Part of an exclusive group that graced both The Outer Limits and another acclaimed series, this individual shared a neighborhood with Hollywood elites like David Jeffen. The opulence of their residence became a backdrop to their life, weaving into the fabric of Hollywood's upper echelon. This connection to Tinseltown's luminaries added depth to their already illustrious career. The Harold Lloyd estate, boasting star-studded residents, reflected not only professional standing, but also the depth of connections within the industry. Noteworthy peers, including Leonard Nimoy, David McCallum, Cliff Robertson, and Peter Breck, found themselves in this exclusive category, sharing experiences that underscored the individual's significance in the world of entertainment. The fact that such peers walked similar paths in terms of television appearances attested to their impact on the industry. In retrospect, the journey from roles in iconic series to residents in the heart of Beverly Hills intertwined their career with the glamorous Hollywood lifestyle. The Harold Lloyd estate, with its star-studded residents, served as evidence of their enduring influence and connections in the entertainment world. Amidst her journey, she faced a sorrowful loss when her husband, Warren Cowan, passed away in 2008 after being together for more than 50 years. Their bond was strong, spanning decades, and his departure left a deep sadness in her heart. Despite this immense grief, she stayed strong, honoring his memory as she navigated life's challenges without him. In her career, she showed her talent in acting by taking on different roles in movies, TV shows, and plays. Even though she was really good at what she did, she didn't always get the recognition she deserved in the tough world of Hollywood. But she didn't let that stop her. She kept on working hard, earning the respect of both her peers and fans. Despite going through tough times and facing challenges in her career, she kept pushing forward. Today, she remains an inspiration for many aspiring actors and actresses. 
Her work in entertainment might not always get talked about, but it sure left a mark that deserves to be remembered. In the realm of Hollywood, tragedies often strike even the brightest stars. One such story unfolds in the life of an actress born in 1927. Amidst the glitz and glamour of her successful career, she faced a devastating loss her son passed away in 22. This sorrowful event cast a shadow over her otherwise illustrious journey in the entertainment world. Despite this personal setback, she displayed remarkable resilience, continuing to grace screens both big and small with her talent. From captivating roles in films to compelling performances on television and stage, her versatility as an actress knew no bounds. One notable highlight was her nomination for an Academy Award in 1950 for a supporting role in a film that left a mark on audiences. This recognition not only honored her skill, but also added to her enduring impact on the industry. Her ability to persevere through personal tragedy while maintaining professional excellence serves as a powerful example of strength. The movies she starred in and the shows she graced with her presence stand as a testament to her remarkable journey.